What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to Transport Fever Los Santos. And just before I started, I went round and I smoothed out a lot of, remember those bumps between the tracks that looked absolutely horrible? I smoothed all them out, I did a little bit of smoothing, made everything just look a little bit rounded and nicer, I think. Uh, what have I got in store for you today? Well, if you look at our system we got, it's pretty good but it's not excellent. And something that we're missing, Grapeseed is not connected to the freight network. And at first I was thinking, I could just stick a hub in by there that connects onto the main road, then a road straight across. But I thought, nah, that's kind of boring. So what I've decided is we're going to have another little hub, kind of like the one we have in the city, but it's only going to feed Grapeseed. And it's going to be somewhere by here. And the tracks are going to run along here, this side of the road. And eventually they're going to join on by this tunnel here. It means I'm going to have to rework some roads and things like that, but that's not a big issue. And then it's going to connect into the hub here. So, uh, what have I done already? Well, as I said, I've smoothed. I've also upgraded these trains down here from, I think they were Atlantics, to these Milwaukee's. And I thought two slightly different colour <coughs> wagons on the back would be quite nice. Um, Train-wise, we've had a new train, at least one. I, have we had more than that? Oh, I forgot about that. And I can't remember where that was meant to be going. Uh, okay, I might as well finish it off. <laughs> like, seriously. Um... What is that? Do you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to have a mix. Four, five, nice blue one, six, seven, end with a red in, eight. So now it's like a, a little mixed train. And this is going to go on TF Food Hub, I think. I think that looked pretty cool with the mix. Why are you stop there? Waiting for free path, okay? That's kind of fair, I suppose. Let's have a look here, just with a mixed carriage. I think that'll look pretty cool. Yep, that's awesome. That looks awesome. And comes out straight across all of these tracks. I think that's a pretty elegant solution, that depo I do. A little bit bumpy, but yeah, what are you going to do about it? Right, we did have a new train. I didn't show you that. Let me just close this. By trains, it was the... Right. We've had a few actually. The 442 Hiawatha. These high speed streamlined Atlantic type locomotives were built by Alco to haul Milwaukee Road's Hiawatha Express passenger trains. Oh wow, look at the top speed 99 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. 4,000 horsepower, 136 kilonewtons. We also have the Class PRR GG1. Uh, spotting a beautiful streamlined design, the GG1 not only looked good but also performed exemplary reaching high speeds. It remained in service for many years. That also goes 99 miles per hour. Ooh, I think we've got some options for our passenger trains now. Uh, carriages, pretty standard. There's the streamlined one. And we also had at the bottom the Pioneer Zephyr which is a multiple unit. The Zephyr is formed of cars permanently articulated together with Jacob's bogies to build and built by the Bud Company. The train featured extensive use of stainless steel. I think that looks pretty cool. We've definitely got some options for our passenger trains now. Right, the hub. I'm not going to time lapse this. I think it'd be better if I just talked to you while I built it and all that. First issue is realistically it should come into these three platforms here but we kind of already got them occupied so this depot is going to have to go delete you delete you delete you it's a shame i quite like that depot right so it's going to be coming out of these platforms here uh i think high speed track turn this camera around a nice straight bit to start off with i think um, hmm, how am I going to do this? Right, I am going to put a piece of track like that. In fact, I'm going to put six tracks like that. Two, oh, one, 
Three. Four. Five. Oop, not like that. Come on. Stick to the end. Nope, doesn't want to do it. Huh, that's weird. And six. Right, so this track is going to be going into that platform, I believe. Uh, yeah. And then we want... God, i got to actually think about this a fair bit. This track to go into that platform. This one to go into that platform. And this one I'm going to bring out along here to about there and connect that and I gotta do the same for these uh, two tracks here so this is gonna stick to if I can get it to you I wanna stick to this track here no not gonna work okay see if we can do it the other way so drag you down here I will get this to work there perfect and you do the same I like to bring them out to the same distance because I don't know it just makes it more appealing it just looks better I think when everything's kind of nice and even but not quite perfect it needs a little bit of quirk to it right where is the point so by there no, that's not what I wanted. Drag that out. And pop you on there. Perfect. And last one out to there. Right, that's the basic start to it. Now we've got to figure out... I think first things first, this road here has to go for a little bit. We'll put it back in, but... Any routes run along it? Yes. What route is that? Um, don't actually know. What is that? What are you? Oh, you. RF Sandy Fuel. Um, let's look at the finances on that. Oh, bit of lag there. RF Sandy Fuel. That's actually a profitable line, so I don't really want to break that. Okay, let's just pause it for a bit while we take this road out. And I'll throw it back in as soon as I can, I suppose. So let's not go back. I've got to go back a fair way. I think into at least there. In fact, I'm just going to relay it completely. Why not? Really? Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Right, I got... Really? Uh, I think I just screwed myself. Construction not possible. Sometimes this game makes no sense. If they're stuck there like that, how the heck am I... Oh, that actually worked. Right, bulldoze, bulldoze, bulldoze. Right, let's actually try this again so it works, shall we? Uh, I'll use low speed track with no catenary to start off with. Because I'll just go around and upgrade all the track when I need to. Right, so that should still work. Jeez, that was a lot of effort to go through for that. Right, now we want to go back to high speed track with catenary, jeez. Um, I think the best way to do this is to do the bit that comes off first. So, I want it to go sort of quite close to the edge of the track so the curve isn't too abrupt. So, if I put that in like that, and then connect this to the track, will it do anything nice? Um problem is that's the bridge part there so if I do a bit of bridge like that and then bring it out will it do I think it looks a bit stupid the bridge with the earth next to it 
I, I don't want to do that. That just looks daft. Okay. No, not like that. What if I brought it out from there? I want the speed realistically to stay above 100. 83. Um. Ooh, that's above 100. Yeah, that'll do. That will do nicely. Right, before I relay the rest of the track, I want to put the actual station in. So, I'm thinking this bit of neighbourhood here has to go. Should be not massively expensive, but fairly expensive. Um, do I delete this bit of street here? Yeah. I'll redo it in a minute. So, take it back to that junction there. And I want, this is going to be a, do I put a terminus? No. Actually, I got a pretty cool idea. I'm going to move this station here and bring it into the hub. I think that'll be quite cool. Right, high speed, catenary, yeah. Uh, I want this to have four, uh, one, two, three, five. So let's put six tracks on it to be sure. 120 plus 200. Second street connection, yes. And no curvature. And how am I going to put this in? This game is very slow when you're building. Wrong way. To. Uh, not quite what I wanted. Come on, turn. Um, God, this game's slow. <laughs> Come on. Right, there. Um, do I want to move? Yeah, I want it a bit more this way, actually. That'll do. That will do. Right. Now I want to this road's going to have to be moved just like all the others so I take that out back to there and now I'm just going to bring the track out uh, do I use that platform? no I'm going to use that one platform 5 and this should be pretty simple to connect up like that. Uh, what if I dropped it one? Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. And I just realised I've made a mistake. <laughs> Damn it. So if I take them out like that. Because that's not the track I want to bring into that platform. It's the one next to it. They're not connected. Uh, hang on a second. Yeah, that's print earth there. That's not what I want. This game does some strange things. Fair play. Right, that's bridge. There. Right, the track I actually want going into that platform will be the one next to it, the return track. That's... Ugh. This game can get very frustrating, but even still, I love it. Right, so I bring that one into platform five. And then this one parallels it and tapers in. Actually, is that the way around I want to do it? No, screw it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that much, does it? That'll do. Right, now I just got to double track it. Well, in this case, six track it. So let me do that and I'll bring you back in a second. Okay, welcome back guys, and I've put in the track, I've put in the signals. Uh, I also smoothed it so it looks a little bit nicer around here, because was, there was a small mountain in the way, I just smoothed that out. And now you join me and I'm putting in the roads that we took out. And after that, uh, well I haven't really thought about what we're going to do that much if I'm honest. But we're going to buy trains soon. And I know everyone loves buying trains because 
you buy in trains and that's a fun thing to do. So I'm putting these roads in and then I gotta sort out the actual streets. We can play it now actually, why not? Uh, I gotta sort out the streets in this area because they need a little bit of a rework. And then uh, yeah, we gotta buy the trains and we gotta sort everything out. There'll be a few bugs as always, but we can iron them out. Right, I want a road, if I can, coming off there. A uh, smaller road than that. And then I'm going to have a nice straight road coming off here. And I want this to be level, like that. And then I want it to curve round, about that. Actually, no. No, I can't have that, can I? Um, how am I going to do this? Because I want to bring these tracks into that platform. I completely forgot about that. Um, right, I'm going to put a road across there, first of all. Uh, just a small one. Uh, how am I going to do that? That is a good question. Because we need to connect this road up to here somehow. Um, right, I'm going to bring a road out like this and level it. That's apparently level. And I'm going to take this one back and then I'm going to... Mm, that's not bad actually. Right, somehow i got to get this piece of track over there over these tracks, uh, this piece of road over these tracks, that's what I was trying to say. So if I put a nice little curve on it like that, relatively symmetric, and I drop into a tunnel, it's not the most elegant solution, but it works, so don't knock it really. Uh, let's connect it like that. That's just going to irritate me, so uh, what road would this be? That one, I think, large country road. Boom, perfect. And I want uh, out of this junction also. Uh, it was locked in there, and I'm assuming that's going to be diagonal. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to connect this up. No, not like that. That's one of the most annoying things when the game does that. Uh, what about that one? Yeah, let's go for it. And then I want... A, no, I want it straighter than that. Straighter. That'll do. Level. Yep. Boom. And just a bit of smoothing to make it look nice. Large brush. This is where I'm going to put the truck stops by year, I should imagine. I don't know, yeah, I haven't thought of everything. I'm not a super mega genius, but I don't know, I think we can get this to work. Right, now for the tricky part. How are we going to connect this to there? First things first, I want to make sure this is actually in range. Uh, is it? Hard Where's the line? Okay, let me try it. Yep, that's in range. So, theoretically, this should put cows onto this station if we do it right. So, we got two lines there. Like, two separate lines. We got food one and food two. So, I'm thinking if we pull the one line out and start sending it into here, Make sure it works and then put the other one into there. I think that would be a good solution. So I want a truck stop. A uh, large one. Large truck stop. And just pop a few across here. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. And I want another one. No, that's a train station. <laughs> uh, you are going to go there. And I reckon we can put one more in. There. And do I put one on the other side? Yeah, I'm going to put a small one on the other side as well. 
So, ah, oh, it won't quite fit in there. If I turn it round, will it fit at all? I reckon it might. Yeah. Boom. Perfect. Right, what routes come into here? LS Food and Sandy Food. So, instead of going to Grapeseed Central, you are going to go into there. And then Grapeseed Central is going to go. And you, after, um, after Sandy Shores Exchange, you're going to go into there and get rid of this. And Grapeseed Central, boom, into there, and get rid of that. Perfect. So we can delete this truck stop here now. Yep, confirm destruction. Is that in range of that station? I think it is. Yep, so it should still work. The line should for now. Right, which line is which? So, Grapeseed Food 1 is the one we want to send into here first then. So, into this platform. Send it straight and level. Perfect. Right, how on earth are we going to connect this? No. The last thing I want is a tunnel. Uh, right, close this so it resets. Do not want a tunnel. I mean, that would work, but that's not nice. What if we did that? That might work. I mean, it's not nice, but it should work. Yeah, let's try that. And this is going to go on to there. Like that. And then we want to double track this. Oh, this tunnel entrance might cause an issue. Ah, damn. Son of a gun. Delete. Delete. Um, if I put this track in first, then. So, where does it go? There. I'm sorry I'm not talking much, guys. It's because I'm trying to think and I'm doing lots of things at once. Right, that would work like that. So, if I take these back a little bit, in theory, this should work now. Right, and pause right there. Because I don't want any trains from Grapeseed 1 to go past this turn 8, because now I'm going to get rid of lower Grapeseed, and I'm going to pop in that, like that. And this is the moment of truth. Yep, it took that, that's good. And nothing should be waiting for it yet, because it probably hasn't picked up the lines there. But once this starts working, then we can start doing it with the other tracks. I put the other tracks in, uh, up to the junction, because... I'm going to knock these out before I put that in to make the curve a little bit smoother. And another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to smooth just slightly. I don't spend ages smoothing, especially when I'm not uh, when I'm recording. My mouse is playing up because it's just not that fun, really. But when I'm offline, I tend to go around and smooth things, which annoy me. Right, perfect. Right, we got any food there yet? Um. Look at that, 5,400 the production's at, wow. Oh, we got cows, we have cows. That is perfect. Now I think we can rip out the other line, so I'm going to do the same as I did last time. Once this goes past the point, I'm going to pause it 
and change the tracks. We got 55 million nearly, 53.8. That's good. Right, so you, as soon as you get past where the points are, I'm going to pause the game. Oh, road vehicle 117. Uh, what is road vehicle 117? Right, and pause. Road vehicle LRF Vinewood in. Uh, I thought I replaced that. Obviously not. Replace now. Yep, 640,000. Right. The trains are past the point, so what I'm going to do now is basically rip everything here out. So you, yep, I don't know where it's going to chuck those cows, but oh well, I'm sure I'll make some more. And take you tracks back, oh, my mouse is playing, my mouse is annoying, I need to get a new keyboard and mouse. I should probably go round after and upgrade the lines to high speed as well. That'd probably be a good idea. Right. And this last little bit there. Now these should just hook straight up, hopefully. And of course, I forgot. <laughs> Got to change the line first. Uh, so lower grape seed. So after Polito Bay Central, after this save, the track is going to go here, and then lower grape seed is gone. Perfect. Right, it should now work, and I'm going to smooth this quickly, just so it looks actually a little bit nice, like move along there. I doubt this hillside will ever be returned to its former glory, but you never know. We might be able to do something. Oh, there's a piece of track there. You've got to be careful of those, because if there's a train on there, it can be a nightmare to get out sometimes. Right, that, sh that looks fine, actually. Not that bad, at least. Right, now I'm going to go and upgrade all the track to a high speed in catenary on these routes you and you and probably you as well I should do and is that all high speed now yep perfect and that station's about to disappear there you go get out of this right there should be what oh my god look at all this food um okay uh where's that going Sandy food, to be fair, we can get rid of that. Because the food is going to go down to Sandy anyway. On the train. We don't need Sandy food anymore. Is there a Sandy Shores food line coming from? I don't think we set any of these lines up, did we? Um, no, we didn't. I completely forgot about that. Go away, go away. Actually, what line are you? Del Paro Industry. Um, no, I'm not going to upgrade them because we're getting rid of that line soon anyway. We're going to have a lot of old lines and new lines and just a mess basically. Right, we need some lines. So, one, two. These are going to be the food lines for uh, Stab City and Sandy Shores probably set those up between episodes but I completely forgot so line one is going to go from this depot to I need to turn on the overlay so food goes to commercial so what about there that should be fine RF stab food one and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, set line RF grapeseed food one. You can see I set the vehicles to only carry what they meant to. So construction materials on these three lines, 
and food on these three. Let me just show you these lines quickly. So we've got one coming from here, going to this stop here for Sandy Shores for the food and the Stab City food line goes to this bus stop here and the construction material lines, the Sandy Shores one goes to this truck depot and the Stab City one goes to this bus stop. In Grapeseed, uh, pretty much the same thing. The food line goes to that bus stop in the middle of the commercial. We missed this bit of commercial over here, but honestly, I'm not worried about that. Not for the time being anyway. I'm probably gonna redo the cities in the future. And the construction materials line goes to that bus stop there. And I think that should work out just fine. I put 10 vehicles on each, <coughs> on each. So that should be okay. Now, what I want to do is uh, sandy food. Actually, no, I'd be better off doing it through this menu here. So, RF sandy, where's S? Come on. Sandy con mat, sandy food, uh, the purple one. Oh, auto save. You go to, go to the depot and be sold and get rid of the line. Perfect. And now you can see it's moved the food into the station and onto these lines here. That's exactly what I wanted. Now we need to get some trains running between uh, the hub and Grapeseed. And we haven't got a depot yet. So I'm gonna do the same as I did before. I'm just gonna check a piece of track on like that and put a straight little bit at the end like that and off here I'm going to go to there. No, that's not what I wanted. Try it from there. And then off. Oop, come on. There. To there. Nope. There. Nope. Come on. There. And I'm just going to chuck a small... Uh, I'm going to use this old one, actually. The one that comes to the game. It, looks, it don't look that bad. Right, by trains. Uh, it's electric track, so we could use an electric train. What about these? Yeah, let's go for it. One of them. They're 9 million. And we want boxcars. I'm going to use this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is that 8? 1, 2, 3. Yep. Set you all on TF. I can't even remember what I called the line. What did I call the line? Did I even set the line up? No, I didn't. Damn. So, new line. And this is going to go from here to, come on, here. And this is going to be TF Earth Food Grape. Didn't spell that right. Seed one. And I'm going to make you a lovely yellow. And I'm also going to lock you into the platform at grape seed. So you won't move. Now I'm going to set up the lines. Which I probably should have done earlier. But you know. One. Uh, I'm only going to put one in for now. Because we haven't set the fuel up yet. That's something I do need to do soon. So this is <clears throat> once again going to go from the hub to here and no nope, you're not going into platform 3 you are going into 4 and lock you in change your color you're going to be this type of green and you're going to be T no nope, T uh, capital uh, con mat grape seed uh, one and you need gondolas don't you so depots but there close you so by trains PRR once again and gondolas I haven't actually got a gondola mod I don't think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten because they carry less but uh, no not by trains set line and you are con mat grapeseed one 
out you go. Perfect. Let's have a look at these. They are quite nice, to be fair. They're very nice. I'm not too keen on the front, where it's like thin and narrow, but... I don't know, they're not bad looking. It's going to take a while before they actually pick anything up. It's going to take a game, the game a bit of time to establish the line. God, Pepe, this bridge up here is absolutely massive. How many tracks is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen tracks this bridge is. Wow. That is probably the biggest, the widest definitely bridge I've ever built in this game. Like that is huge. I, th I don't think there are any bridges 16 tracks wide in real life. I'd be surprised if there is. It's getting a little bit laggy now, but I should iron out soon. Under this bridge, that's quite a nice bridge, fair play. It's quite symmetrical, I think. And coming in to the station. Perfect. God, I love this game. I really do love this game. Right. I've got a distinct feeling I've missed something. Um, what I am going to do... For vehicles to get from these depots to this road, they have to basically join the motorway. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a little bit of road. You know, this road will be fine. Okay, maybe not. Cross there like that. So trucks can just go down there instead. That's good. I think that's a good idea. Right. What, what I do want to do is go around and check to make sure there's no massive build-ups anyway. In fact, what I want to check first is the lines. What's losing us money? What's making us money? Making us money? Oh my god. 11.8 million on the stone line. Jeez, that's more than I thought. And it's only two-thirds fill. Although one of them is probably on the way back. The, the other two will be full, that means. Uh, grapeseed food 2, 8.6 million. The halo line, 6, 6.5 each. Uh, construction materials, 5.78. 5.6 on the food line. Grapeseed food 1 is already blasting in with 4 million. Oh no, that's... I got confused there and ignore me. TPLS stab is 3.2 million. That's peachy. What are we losing money on? TF Elysian Dock Food and Polito Hub. Uh, why are you losing us money? I think I know why. Because uh, Polito Food. Because of this line. I'm pretty sure of it. So, RF Polito Food. Uh, it'd be up here somewhere. Uh, Polito Food is blue. You, I'm afraid, go to death and be sold. Bye bye line. That should hopefully help out that. Oh my god, that's a lot of food. All of it for TF Food Hub. I think we need another train on there. Uh, Depot, buy trains. Uh, what are we running? We're running Milwaukee's. Buy one of them. And uh, let's use let's use this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Was that eight or nine? I think that was eight. Duplicate, duplicate, set line all. This is going to get a busy line. TF Food Hub. That should hopefully help out with that problem. Uh, what I am going to do... Hang on a minute. You shouldn't be doing that. What are you doing, man? Sandy Shores Annex. I don't even know why it did that. You're meant to be going into platform 10, I believe. Platform 10. Is it still doing that stupid thing? Nope. Let me just check the other lines, make sure none of the others are doing that. 
No, that's it. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop a little bit of a signal here. Just so trains can actually pull out the depot straight away. Right, so we've got to build up the food there. That should hopefully get solved by that. Those extra three trains I put on. Uh, everything else looks fine there, really. Uh, no massive build-ups over here, fortunately. Uh, the herb does have a fairly big build-up of food. Uh, all of it for Chumash. Ooh, I haven't got a depot. Right, what are you? Are you the Chumash one? Yeah. So, I'm going to replace this train. Let me pause it so it'll replace it at the station. Uh, do we have electricity on that line? I think we do. Yeah. So I'm going to use this, the PRR, and we're going to use the upgraded truck, so I'm going to use this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Replace now. 12 million. I haven't got enough. Damn it. How much was it? 12 point... Ooh, auto save. 12.8. I think we can get that pretty soon, so I'm going to leave you up by there. Uh, close you, close you, close you. Right, we need some more road vehicles on Sandy Food. In fact, we need a heck of a lot more road vehicles on Sandy Food. Uh, only carry food. One, two, three, uh, just keep clicking. Set you all on our air. Sandy food one. That should help. Right. Uh, we do have a big build-up of stone over here. So, uh, I don't think we've got a depth on this line. So, I'll just chuck one in by here. Oh, my God. We're actually negative. I can't believe how well we've done. Since I started stop faffing about and actually doing some work and getting things done, we're making loads of money. Like, granted, I'm still cleaning up a lot of the crap I put in at the beginning, but it's still doing pretty damn well. Uh, I literally have no idea what we're running on this line. So, when the train goes past, we are running those with 10 gondolas. So, Milwaukee, haven't got enough. Oh my god. Come on, money, build up. Build up as fast as you can. Right, put that new train on there. Sorry, we went like 10 million in debt, so uh, that should get cleared up soon. Still waiting to upgrade the train up here, but that shouldn't be much longer, I hope. Right, any more big build-ups we have? There's quite a lot of construction materials waiting for... Actually, it's pretty spread out. Polito Hub could use another train, but that's not urgent. Right, what about down here? I'd imagine this is pretty build up. Yes, it is. Uh, in fact, it's very built up. Although it is spread out. Mm, I don't know, actually. No, it's not really, is it? LS Conmat, Vinewood Conmat. Why is there food on those lines? God knows. So, where is our depot? It's down here somewhere. By road vehicles. And we want max, one, two, three, oh, I haven't got any money. Just keep clicking. God, I can't believe we're actually having to wait for money now. And then he just jumps in like that. So, RF, what was it? Vinewood and LS Conmat. RF, LS Conmat. Just constantly keep clicking. Set you all on Vinewood Conmat. Oh, just went past it. Perfect. And at this depot... Uh, no, that's fuel. This depot. Uh, mainly Vinewood food. And a few on LS food, I think. So, buy road vehicles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On LS food. Uh, LS food one and then quite a few on Vinewood food one set line all 
the so there, Vinewood Food 1. Perfect. Right, that should help clear that up. Oh my god. <laughs> That's got to be nearly a thousand food. Yeah, nearly. Uh, Chumash. Uh, I need to upgrade that train so badly. Uh, LS Hub could use another train. What's LS Hub running? Ah, uh, that's running. Mm. That means we're going to have to buy a new locomotive. We haven't got enough for that. Okay, guys. I think i got a little bit of saving to do. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to end the episode here. And between this episode and the next, I'm going to save up some money to buy some trains, upgrade the lines. I'm going to go around and do some general maintenance in the meantime. And I suppose I will see you next time. So, make sure you come back for that. Peace out, guys.